Welcome, my name is Catherine. Today I'll be showing three more 45s from my collection. This is part four. The first two are from 1967. The third one's from 1969. So record number one is Carrie Ann by the Hollies. This was released May 26th of 1967. And this is the US copy on Epic. The UK pressing was on Parlophone, and our songwriters are the members Alan Clark, Graham Nash, and Tony Hicks. Now, is Carrie Ann a real person? Yes, the song is a tribute to English rock singer Mary Ann Faithful. She recorded a song written by Rolling Stone members Mick Jagger and Keith Richards called As Time Goes By, and also their manager helped write that song. And she was on tour with the Hollies. That's how she became acquainted with them. So Graham Nash said, we tried to find a name similar to Marianne to not give the true meaning of the song away in the lyrics. And it is a flirty song. It peaked at chart position was in the United States was number nine. And in the UK, it went to number three. I like this song for its vocal harmony and the uplifting me melody, and it also is pretty humorous as well. Record number two is Daydream Believer by the Monkees. It was released October 25th of 1967, and our writer is John Stewart of the Kingston Trio, and he wrote this song for the Monkees. So the Monkees were the original recording of Daydream Believer. We have Davy Jones, who sings lead. Michael Nesmith plays the lead guitar. Peter Tork plays the piano, and he composed the introduction. Mickey Dolenz is backing vocals. Now this song reached number one in the United States December of 1967 and remained number one for four weeks and sold a million copies in the United States. And it was later put on the album, The Birds, The Bees, The Monkeys, which was released April 22nd of 1968. And that was their fifth studio album. I like Daydream Believer because it's a fun pop song. It has a sing-along sing lyrics and it's a piano melody. So of course I like it. Record number three, Honky Tonk Women by the Rolling Stones. And the B-side is, you can't always get what you want. So two good songs on one record. This was released July 4th of 1969 in the UK and one week later in the United States. And this is a non-album single. The, there's a country version of this song called Country Hong, and it was later included on the Let It Bleed album of November of 1969. And it's the third track on that record. Our writers are Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. It went to number one both in the US and the UK and sold 1 million copies in the United States and 200,000 copies in the UK. And it was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 2014. It's considered to be a well-composed rock and roll song and one of the greatest songs in history. So those are our three records for today. Please share your thoughts and memories of any one of these songs, and thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video.